Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. I know this is a little bit late but today we're going to be going over flashing Android Q, the first beta, uh, on our rooted Pixel 3. Now currently there is no root for the Pixel 3 on Android Q, although the new Canary builds of Magisk will support the Pixel 1 and Pixel 2 running Android Q, but currently there's nothing for the Pixel 3 just yet due to it using logical partitions. We'll go over that in just a second, but let's get started with the downloads here. So let's head over to our computer. And the first thing that we need to download is the latest SDK platform tools. Now Google did a little bit of a cheeky one here. Although it says down here that the revisions is currently 28.0.1, the latest version is actually 28.0.2. And I believe it's designed for us to be able to flash the product image that's inside these factory images. So go ahead and please download the latest version from here. Uh, even though it says down here that 28.0.1 is the latest version, uh, there is in fact 28.0.2, uh, which is here. So just make sure you download the latest one again, uh, because it does have some extra things that we need for this to work. So if you're running into issues, please make sure you get the latest version of the SDK platform tools. And the next thing we want to download, of course, is the Android Q factory image. Here are the downloads for the pixels. So you can choose the one that's either for the Pixel 3 or Pixel 3 XL. So you can click on the one that is right for you. Then uh, you'll need to check this box and then click on the blue download button as well. And now we're going to talk about rooting this thing. Now, I think the best uh, way to get information about this is on John Woo's Twitter. It's at Top John Woo. And you can see down here, this is March, I think, 17 or 16. Yeah, here it is. So he is um, pretty much testing out a root method for the Pixel 3s on Android Q. Currently, it's not out to my knowledge, but when it does come out, I'll have a link to that in the more info. And you can just download the latest uh, Magis Canary. Uh, build here and also just download TWRP. Now something else with TWRP that I'll mention now is that it might not be able to decrypt your data partition after you upgrade to Android Q. Now that is something to keep in mind because when you boot the image, and I'll do this at the end of this video, and if it asks for your pin pattern or passcode, you enter it correctly and it still says unable to decrypt data, then all you need to do is pretty much remove your screen lock from Android. So go back into Android, remove your screen lock, set it to the swipe, and then boot the TRRP image again, and then it should work. And now back to Magisk Canary. Now, for example, we go to the latest release. What is it all? I think he changed the form a little bit and wait for GitHub to load. You can pretty much just download the app debug or app release, sorry, Magisk release or debug, uh, download the zip file here, and then you can go ahead and flash that instead. And this is the bleeding edge build of Magisk. And usually the uh, fixes and I guess implementations that he has for Android Q will be in these builds rather than the beta or official uh, stable builds. But do check on his Twitter uh, when he does release that. And I also have a link down below once that happens. Now once you have everything downloaded, I know it's going to be quite tiny here because we can't root our phone anyways. Um, so here we have the factory image, we have the platform tools, and then we have our TWRP image uh, just for testing later on. Uh, but of course, once Magisk uh, Canary does support the Pixel 3 on Android Q, then you can just go ahead and flash that like you would normally. Uh, but keep in mind what I said about TWRP previously, um, it may not be able to decrypt your data partition. So just keep that in mind. But when the time comes, I'm sure you'll know what to do anyways. It's quite simple. But for upgrading, it should also be just as simple. Uh, step one, you'll want to remove all substratum overlays. Substratum doesn't currently work on Android Q, and I think that's about it. But when root does come out, uh, I would recommend that you disable all of the Magisk modules there, and then uh, flash Android Q, and then subsequently root it. But in this video, the right now, I won't be able to root Android Q. So we need to open up the factory image here, and open that folder up. And all you need to do is come over here and extract these three files, the bootloader, the radio, and the image zip file. Just extract it outside into the Android folder where everything else is. And once that is done, you can close the factory image zip file. And then you wanna open up the platform tools zip file. 
Now again, if you've already set this up before, or maybe you followed one of my videos, I'll also leave a link to that in the more info uh, on how to set up the platform tools so you can use it anywhere without having to change directories in your command prompt. Uh, but otherwise, you can just extract the entire platform tools folder outside just like that and copy it, also extract it into the Android folder and just close that. And we have all our files here. So I'm gonna open up the platform tools folder in a new window. And you'll see all these files here that we need to use. Pretty much ADB and Fastboot will be the common ones that you'll need. And to get a command prompt window or a PowerShell window if you want, but do keep in mind that you'll need to run the commands a little bit differently if you choose not to use the command prompt window, but it's quite easy to uh, invoke anyways. You can either hold shift and right click and click on open command window here. And this is for Windows 7 and below, and I think Windows 8. Uh, but otherwise you can go into the address bar here right here where my cursor is, and then type in CMD and hit enter, and that'll open up a command prompt window in the same directory as the platform tools, which is exactly what we want. And then afterwards, you can close the platform tools folder. Okay, so to begin, we'll need to reboot our phone into the bootloader, and we're going to do that right now. Let's just head back to our phone here. Uh, what I like to do is, uh, well, basically unlock it, and then hold the power button, and then tap on restart, and then hold the volume down button until your phone boots into the bootloader. And once it's in, we can now go back to our computer here, and then we'll be able to run our fastboot commands to update our phone to Android Q. To do that, we're going to type in fastboot flash bootloader, leave a space after the bootloader and drag in the bootloader image from the factory image. Things that we just extracted, it'll look like this, and then once that's done, we're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader. So we can type in fastboot, reboot, bootloader, hit enter, and our phone will reboot itself back into the bootloader. Once it's in the bootloader, we're going to update the radio image. So we're going to type in fastboot, flash radio, leave a space after radio and drag in the radio image, hit enter. And once that is done, we're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader once more. So we can hit the up arrow key on our keyboard until we hit up the, uh, sorry, the reboot bootloader command and hit enter and wait for our phone to get back into the bootloader. And once it does, we can issue our update command. So we can type in fastboot double dash skip dash reboot and then type in the word update, leave a space after update and drag in the image dash blue line or crosshatch, the zip file in there. Not the one that has factory in it, okay? Don't get confused between those two. And this will start to extract all the necessary items and flash them according to what your current slot is and all that good stuff. So just give it a sec here and it'll start extracting all the big images. I'll fast forward this until we finish and then we can take a look at booting into TWRP. Alrighty, so now we're going to attempt to boot TWRP and you'll notice that we're actually in a new kind of fast boot screen rather than just the bootloader, but that's fine. Let's see what options we have here and let's see what we can do from within this uh, new fast boot menu. So I'm going to try boot the TWRP image. So I'm gonna type in fast boot, boot, and then drag in the TWRP image. Okay, unknown command boot. Okay, we probably need to get back into the bootloader. So we can do this on the phone. Just navigate down to reboot bootloader and press the power button and it should do that. And once you're in fast boot mode or in the bootloader, we can run the same command. Give it a second here for it to boot up. Okay, now let's see if TWRP is able to decrypt our data partition. Enter in our pattern. Okay, we did see some errors, so we can check out the log here unable to mount system, I think that should be all right. But anyways, at least we can access our data partition here, which is great. There we go, everything is still here. That's pretty cool. Uh, not that we can root our phone currently, but do check the more info and uh, John Wu's Twitter uh, for any updates, of course. And, but that's cool. We know that our phone can boot into TWRP and that TWRP can actually decrypt our data partition. So let's reboot our phone into the system and that's fine. And now let's see if we can um, have a look at Android Q. All 
Okay, here we go. Android beta program, this is looking good so far. Okay, let's swipe that up. And there we go. Got the new Android Q logo here, the temporary one at least. And everything is still here, which is good as well. What's this, Gboard? I like the new roundedness. It, it looks a bit more round, but let's have a look at that dark mode when we enable battery saving mode. You can't activate it because you're plugged in. And would you look at that? A nice system-wide dark mode here for all you dark mode fans out there. It is um, pitch black, so friendly on the AMOLED screen and your eyeballs. And okay, well, there's Android Q now. Um, I guess have fun, but you won't be having too much fun, I guess, if your phone's not rooted. But uh, I guess that will come in due time as the magician John Wu works it out for the Pixel 3. But if you like this video, feel free to um, slap that like button. But otherwise, you can join us on Discord or leave a comment down below. Uh, feel free to suggest anything or just leave a message if you will. We'll probably also be taking a look at Android Q's most interesting features, such as the revamped privacy app permissions and dialogues. And we can take a look at some other things like that as well. So thanks for watching guys. And as always, happy flashing.